Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Anita Louise and today I'm going to show you how I made this cute little koozie can cover. So if you want to crochet this along with me, then let's get started. All right, for this project you will need size 4 medium weight yarn. So this is just regular medium weight yarn. You'll need it in three colors. Today I'm using black and white and gray. So basically you need a light, a dark, and a in-between like medium color. So you can switch those out however you want to. Like you could do white, red, pink. You could do um, any multitude of colors. You could do red, black, and burgundy um, but for this one we're making a gray buffalo plaid koozie so I've got black white gray you will also need a pair of scissors a size G crochet hook and a little yarn needle so to get started we're going to grab our white because this is the base of my little koozie here so we're starting off with white and we're going to do a magic circle. So we've got a little, let's show you a crisscross here, two stripes here. Gonna grab my hook, go under both and grab the second, pull it under and lock my magic circle. Now I'm going to chain three, one, two, and three. And now in my magic circle, I'm going to do 11 double crochets and this one is going to count as one. So then I'll technically have like 12 double crochets in there. But um, so really 11 plus our chain three is 12. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. And now we're going to pull our magic circle closed but before we pull it all the way, I want to slip stitch into the top of that chain three. It's just so much easier to slip stitch before your magic circle is all the way closed. <laughs> so make your little slip stitch and then let's pull our magic circle all the way closed. Make sure you give it a good tug. You can, there you go. You can feel it when it closes all the way. <laughs> now round two, we're going to chain three, one, two, three in that same stitch that we just slip stitched in and did the chain three we're going to do a double crochet and while i'm crocheting this round i'm going to crochet on top of this end to cover it up so that i can cut it at the end of this round so um, double crochet in that same spot now in each double crochet around i'm going to do two double crochets so that at the end i will have a total of 24 double crochets because that first chain three is acting as a double crochet. So just put two double crochet in every single double crochet around and crochet on top of this end here so that we can hide it, cover it, and cut it at the end. I like to double count to make sure I'm doing this right. So I've got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. Yep, perfect. Two more to get to 24. And then I'm going to slip stitch once again into the top of this chain three. Now for this next row, we're going to chain three, one, 
two, three. And then in the next double crochet, or well, our first double crochet, we're going to do two double crochets. Now in the next one, we're going to do one double crochet. And in the next one, two double crochets. And we're just going to continue that around our entire circle. So one double crochet in this one, and then two double crochets in the next one. And then one double crochet in this one, two double crochets in the next one. And at the very end, you should have 36 double crochets. and 33 and we've got 34 35 and 36 and now once again we're going to slip stitch into the top of our chain three and now we're going to chain three again one two three now in the next stitch we're going to do one double crochet but in this row, we're going to be working in the back loops only. So do one double crochet in the back loop only. And then in this next one, we're going to do a double crochet, but we're going to finish it in a different color. So insert your hook, draw up a loop, yarn over, draw through two loops. And now we're going to yarn over with our next color, which is gray. So we're just going to grab our gray yarn over and pull it on through. And now we have our gray as our working yarn. We're going to be crocheting on top of the tail end of this gray and on top of this white so that we can bring it along with us because we'll be using it again in this row. So we're going to be switching between gray and white on this row. So I'm holding this tail end and the white down by my stitches so I can cro crochet on top of them. And I'm going to be using my gray and working in the back loops only, I'm going to do three double crochets. But at the end of the third one, I'm going to be finishing that stitch off in white so that I can switch back to the white again. So we're going to do one double crochet in gray in the back loop only. And as I'm working, I like to kind of pull on the colors to make sure that they're staying tight. So I'll show you what I mean. But um, in the next one, we're doing another gray double crochet back loop only. And now this third one, same thing, double crochet back loop only, but for the last yarn over, we're going to be using white to switch back to our white. There we go. And now we've switched back to our white and let me show you what I mean. Again, I just like to give those a little tug to make sure that they're staying tight because sometimes our yarn gets loose when we're switching between colors like this. So just give them a little tug each time you switch. So now we're doing three double crochets in white again. So now when we do it, we're still um, crocheting on top of our tail end, but we're crocheting on top of our gray to bring it along with us because we'll be switching back to gray in just a minute. So yarn over, we're doing our double crochet back loop only in white. There's first one, here's our second one, and then in our third one, we're going to be switching back to gray. So yarn over and pull through one time, and then in our second yarn over, we're going to be switching back to gray. So yarn over and pull through to switch back to gray and then give them a little tug again just to make sure they're staying nice and tight. And now we're doing our three double crochets in gray, switching back to white halfway through the last one. Oh, 
There we go. And bringing our white along with us and still crocheting over that tail. So switching back to white. And now just continue on in that way so that you have three double crochets in each color, bringing the other color along with you. And in the middle of the third one for the second yarn over pull through, you switch to that other color. And now, once we're nearing the end, oh, oopsie, <laughs> I almost forgot to switch back. So this is going to be my last group of gray. So I'm going to make my three double crochets, but now at the end of this one, I do not need to switch back to my white. I'm gonna finish this group because now, when I slip stitch into the top of this chain three here to finish this row, gray is going to be the color that I start with on row two. So I'm keeping it on my little hook there. Okay, so now with row two, I'm going to chain three with gray. One, two, three. I'm going to do a double crochet in my next double crochet. And in the next one, I'm going to finish my double crochet with my new color, which is black. So let's grab our black over here. I'm just gonna scoot it over here. There we go. Make some room for our new color. <laughs> so I'm gonna do it the same way, just kind of lay it over there and pull it on through. And now this row is going to be worked in gray and black. And this row also, I'm sorry I didn't say this, we're working through both loops. So we're not doing back loop only, that was only for row one. And rows two and three, we're going to be repeating three times so that we have seven rows all together because we'll have three rows of the two and three and one row of row one. So this row here, we're going to be repeating a couple times, so two and three, so pay attention. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but really. Okay, so we've done our three in gray. We switched to black. Now we're going to yarn over. We're going to be carrying the gray along with us, and then we're going to be crocheting on top of the tail of the black to cover it up. So yarn over. Let's do our one double crochet in black two double crochets in black and third double crochet we're going to be switching back to gray so for the second yarn over pull through we're doing it in gray remember to give your yarn both sides a little tug so they stay nice and tight and now we're doing a three in gray so there's one here's two and here's three, but the third one, we're finishing it off in black. Give them a little tug. All right, and now we're doing three in gray. There's, or sorry, in black. There's one. Here's two. Our third one gets switched right here. And then gray, we've got one. We've got two. And we've got three, and the third one is getting switched to black. And now we're just going to be repeating that, 
carrying our colors along with us and going around this whole row just like that, switching between black and gray, giving our yarn a little tug each time and going all the way, oopsie, woo, there we go, around. Tug, tug. And now we're almost near the end, so we're doing one more group of gray. One, two, three, switching back to black. And then one, two, and now this one, this last one, we're doing our switch, but we're doing it back to a white. So we're picking up our white yarn. It's right where we left it. We're just gonna yarn over and pull it on through. And then we're going to slip stitch into our gray with our white into the top of that chain three. And now we're ready to start with our white. So this is row three, and for this row, we're going to be working with gray and white. So we're leaving the black where it is because we don't need it for this round. And so we're going to chain three with our white. One, two, three, working into this next double crochet. We're doing a double crochet. And then in this next one, halfway through it, we'll be switching back to gray. There it is. <laughs> We're carrying the white along with us because we're going to be using it in this row, but we're leaving the black right where it is because we don't need it. So, carrying that white right next to our stitches to carry it with us, we're going to do one double crochet, two double crochet, and in this third one, we're switching back to the white. There we go, give them a little tug. And now in white, one double crochet, two double crochet, three double crochet, but switching back to gray. And we're just going to repeat that all the way around our little circle here. And that is row three. So we're just repeating those rows, actually. We're just repeating row two and three, three more times. But I'll work the rest of this row with you, um, just cause this is fun. <laughs> here's one, here's two, oops. Here's three, switching back to white. And here's one, here's two, here's three, we're switching back to gray. Here's one, here's two, Here's three, switching back to white. So now, in case you guys are wondering, why are we switching in the middle of the stitch? Let me show you. So this one, I won't switch in the middle of the stitch, okay? We'll just start this next double crochet all new in gray, okay? Let me show you what happens when we do that. So, and you can see that now we've got a group of three that's white and a group of three that's gray, but the top of that gray one is white. 
And that is what happens if you don't switch for the second yarn over pull through. That's what happens when you yarn over in the same color, it makes the next little top of that stitch that same color. So in case you're wondering why we <laughs> switch through in the middle of this last stitch, that's why. So yarn over with gray, pull through, and now see it makes that loop that is going to be the top of the next stitch. It makes it the color that you want it to be. So that is why. So here's one in gray, here's two in gray, here's three, and we're switching back to white. And give them a little tug. Here's one in white two in white, three in white, and switching back to gray, tug, tug, one in gray. This is my last little set, so. So for this last one, we don't need to switch to any other color because we're going to be starting this next row with gray. So we're going to slip stitch into the top of that chain three with our gray. And then we're going to chain three. And now we're going to do our two double crochets. But the last one is going to be finished off in black because black is now the color that we're going to be using for this row. And the black is right there where we left it. And now as we work our next little three double crochets in black, we're going to be carrying the gray along with us. And halfway through our third black double crochet, we're going to be switching back to gray. There we go. And we're just repeating this row. And let's see here. Let's take a little pause now. So now this is row, oh, this is row four. It is an exact repeat of row two. And we're going to be repeating rows two and three, two more times, so that we have seven rows all together because we'll have one of row one We'll have three row twos and three row threes. So one, two, three, two, three, two, three. So at the very end of that, we'll have seven rows. And um, so you guys can hit that little pause button and do those little rows again. So it seems a little tricky at first, I know, when you look at it and you see three colors and you know that you're going to be making a plaid pattern, it seems a little bit tricky, right? But I like to look at it like this. If you look at each row, you're working each row in two colors. So like row one is only gray and white. And then row two is only black and gray. So you're really only working with two colors and I don't know, that makes it easier for me to visualize and think about. So before I start each row, I kind of look at it and think, what colors am I working with for this row? And then that helps me remember which color of yarn I'm going to be carrying along with me and which one I'm going to be leaving behind because I don't need it, but I'll need it on the next round. You know what I mean? <laughs> so you guys just continue on with your row four, which is a repeat of row two, and then repeat row three, then repeat row two, repeat row three, repeat row two, and repeat row three. But I am going to work row six with you guys because at the end of row six, we get to cut our black thread because we will be all finished with it and we'll be able to crochet over the tail end of that. So did I do that wrong? What am I doing? Okay, I've got to stop talking and crocheting so much. <laughs> I just did a crochet two together. Okay, here's a 
crochet in black and a crochet switching to gray. All right, so I am going to meet you guys on row six. All right, so I'm nearing the end of row six and I'm using my gray one more time on this row and then my black. This will be the last time I'm using black in the whole entire project and so just gonna do this last little set. And at the end of this last one, I'm going to be switching to white. And now I can cut this black yarn. And then we can crochet on top of it. But first let's do our little slip stitch into the top of this chain three using our white. Oh dear. There it is. Mm -hmm. Using our white. And then we'll chain three. One, two, three. And now carrying all of this with us, carrying the gray because we'll be using it and carrying the black because we can crochet over this tail. We're going to do our last row. So here is our white double crochet and another white double crochet. And this one gets switched to gray. And then we'll do a little set of gray. There's one double crochet. Here's another double crochet. And then we're switching back to white on this one. There we go. And then we're just going to continue around this row just like that, switching between white and gray for the very last row of our plaid. We're nearing the end of row seven. And at the end of this one, we will be switching back to our white. And we can actually cut our gray um, yarn because we're all finished with it. That is the last bit of gray we will be doing. So now we're onto just white. And now what we're going to do is slip stitch into the top of our chain three once again. Ooh. And now we're going to chain one, single crochet into that same space, and I'm going to crochet on top of that little gray tail there. And we're just going to single crochet in top of each double crochet all the way around while we're working on top of that little end to cover it up. And this just gives us a pretty little border on the top of our cute little Buffalo plaid koozie. <laughs>
we're on our very last three single crochets. There we go. And now I'm just going to slip stitch into the very top of that first one. And now we can snip our yarn off and just weave that little end in. I just like to run it through the bottom of my stitches. And then after we've got it under a couple of them, we can just trim that last little piece off. Also, I still have a little piece in there that was from the very beginning from my magic circle that I crocheted over in the beginning. And that is our cute little koozie. Thank you all so much for crocheting along with me. I hope you had fun with this little project. And remember, there are all sorts of different little embellishments and motifs that you can add to your little koozie if you wanna add a little additional flair. And I will link the little playlist down below that has all of my different little crochet motifs on it. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe if you wanna see more videos from me. Bye.